another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to create a tan or change the skin color on a person. This is the after image and this is what it looked like before. So to do it is not too hard but it takes a few simple steps. So I'll just delete my layers to get started. Now the first thing to do is to create a selection around the skin we want to change. So for that I'm just going to use the wand tool. So press W or go over here and select it. And here I'm using the quick selection tool as opposed to the magic wand tool. If you click and hold down on these here tools, there's often other little tools underneath. So click quick selection tool if it's not selected. And up here you can choose if you want to add or minus to the selection. Right now it's on the add. Then you can just sort of click and drag over the area you want to select and add to your selection. If you want to subtract things from your selection like the eyes and the teeth, you can hold down the alt key and then you can see up here that it is onto the minus sign and then that'll take away from the selection when you paint over that area. Uh, you can also change the brush size here to change the size that you're brushing on and also in that brush when you press the alt key you can see the minus there or the plus when you have just the regular or if you're on the minus brush to take away stuff I want to take away this top. Now if I press the shift key it'll add to the selection. So you also might want to zoom in to your image to do some of the selecting. To do that quickly, you can press down the control and space bar. And for example, zoom into the eye here. Once you're zoomed into the image, if you want to move around, you can just hold down the space bar and you'll get this hand. And then you can click and drag and that'll move you around. So this selection doesn't have to be super perfect. You can edit it later. We just want to get the general area we're going to edit. And if you're using CS5, another tool you can use is right click on your selection and click refine edge and up here you can use your view of how you want your selection to look while you're editing it and you can refine the selection a little bit in here you can feather the edge a little bit and smooth it out and again if you have any problem areas you can paint with the add to the selection or hold on the alt to subtract from the selection and then output just to selection that's what we have already all right so we have a all right selection uh, the first thing we can do is create a color balance layer and this edits the overall colors in the image. We'll start by just working on the midtones and we're going to bring up the red and bring up the green magenta a little bit just to create a little more golden tone. Depending on the color of your skin of your model this will vary a little bit so you have to play with these numbers. On the midtones I'm just using 31 and 4 and also depending on the color values of your image you may need to go into the shadows and edit those as well. So I'm going to edit the shadows a little bit here, bring up the red and the green. It's maybe a little much. If you like the effect but think it's just a little strong, you can just create reduce the opacity on the layer. So maybe I'll reduce this to 90%. And we also want to make just her overall skin darker, so I'm going to create a curves layer. But before I do that, I'm going to control click on this layer mask I have on the color balance layer and that automatically selects the selection from this color balance. So now I can create my curves and it uses this selection I just had and I can bring down the lightness a little bit and we can see how we're doing here by clicking on these eyes for before and after. And one last little trick you can create a blank layer and and we're gonna fill this with a solid color so click on this color picker and I'm using the color with RGB 153 And then, so when you have this color or click a color you want, press OK. And now we're going to fill this layer with that color. So Alt Backspace. That fills it with the foreground color. And now we're going to change this layer's blending mode to Soft Light. Now this is a little bit strong, but again we're going to Control click on our layer mask from another layer and then make sure your solid color is selected and click this mask button down here and that masks this entire layer and now this is still a little strong so we're going to click the opacity and bring it down to an amount that looks reasonable maybe there if she's had considerable time in the tanning booth if we look at the before and after she's quite a bit darker and I think it looks fairly realistic and now you can also go around and check on the edge and see how it all looks you can see up here I should adjust this layer. I'm going to brush with an extremely soft brush, hardness at zero, 
and size reasonably large and brushing on my layer mask I'm brushing white so I'm increasing this layer mask and this softens the edge of the mask and also remove from this mask selection a little bit so the hair doesn't get affected and the eyes look pretty good and that's all you have to do if you want to download a TIFF version of this file with all these layers intact or download the HD version of this tutorial and check out more tutorials, head over to tutorvid.com. <laughs>